traveling on the Port Townsend Ferry from Coopville, Washington to Port Townsend. Now I just saw something in that water. What was that? I think it was a dolphin or a sea lion, I suppose. I don't know. It, it had fins. Typical gray day in Seattle. A lot of rain. Beautiful out here. Windy day too. Very windy. Coming into Port Townsend now. Docking in. Docking in. just leaving Port Townsend. I will put, post some pictures at the end of this video of the town itself. I was not able to drive through town today uh, and videotape because they had something going on that was fairly busy uh, and so I just took some photos and then I also am just going to share some with you. Turn right on Highway 20. But in the meantime, we're heading for Port. We're heading for Ocean Shores, Washington, and uh, Pacific Beach tomorrow. Lots and lots of trees, cedar trees, all throughout these islands around Seattle. <clears throat> I'm only oh maybe an hour away from Seattle. Uh, this is this is what the Pacific Northwest looks like all the way from Portland to Vancouver, British Columbia Which is about three-hour drive from Portland to Seattle and um, From Seattle to Vancouver, British Columbia, I believe is about a four-hour drive So but it all looks like this uh, they have one of the largest and oldest rainforests in the world here around Port Angeles um, and one of the oldest trees in the world is here in the uh, rainforest here. Beautiful. This road actually follows the Puget Sound heading to Highway 101, which goes all the way to California.
something that's really unique to these regions are the moss. These trees have a massive amount of moss on them. That's all moss, all that yellow. Those aren't, those aren't blossoming buds, that's moss. St. Washington. Just a little town. A lot of uh, fishing around these areas for salmon. Lots and lots of fishing around here. There is snow up on that mountain up there. Olympic National Forest. Quill St. Washington. Highway 101. Mm, got Puget Sound over there. Coming. Continue on US 101. Puget Sound to the left. Basically, we follow the Puget Sound all along way until we get to the ocean at Ocean Shores, Washington. heavy moss, thick moss. Entering the town of Eldon. Eldon, Washington. It's really not much more than one store. That's about it. Eldon, Washington. farm, seafood. Oysters are very, very big here. Uh, going up and digging for oysters and clams. My parents used to come up here all the way from Idaho just for dig for clams, oysters, and salmon fishing. Puget Sound, they take a little well, they had a small 20-foot boat and took it up here every year.
Easter Lawn Highway 101 South. We'll take you all the way to California. Little layup, Washington. A little town right on the the water here called the layup. It's not really a town, there's a small store, hotel, looks like that was all there. Within the blink of an eye, literally, I was through the town, so I wasn't able to show you. The layup. I think that's how you say it. Even have it the creek side in a vacancy. Tides Family Restaurant. RV space is here. Oh, it looks like a place to fish and uh, and also do your little uh, getting of. Uh, lobsters and crab and all kinds of things. I'm sure my parents stayed here in their RV. And yet another little town. The Sunrise Motel. Just all along this water here. Puget Sound. Highway 101 are little communities, small little communities. Beautiful. I don't know what this is called. Hurtsport. We've actually had some snow here. like a strip mall in a way. It's got just lots of stores and things like that. Car dealerships and different things. It, it wouldn't I wouldn't say it's the most attractive city in the in the world. Um, it is near the the water and it is near the Puget Sound and uh, not far from the ocean. But, uh, Oh, it reminds me of the movie called Duets. Uh, he said, he said, uh, everywhere you go, it's just one great big strip mall. That's kind of what Aberdeen reminds me of. Okay, on to the next town. Birch trees. A lot of birch trees through here. Coming up to Ocean Shores, we're about 15 miles away from Ocean Shores, Washington. Ocean Shores, Washington. They've just got all kinds of little neighborhoods through here like this. It's uh, 
it's a sea, a sea f ocean city town is what it is. It's on the ocean. So, Pacific Ocean. I'll just drive you through this little neighborhood here. Almost has a Hawaiian feel to it to me. Reminds me a little of Hawaii. Comfort Inn over there, and then they've got some of these other hotels here. They, they, the prices range anywhere from like 53, 55 a night to 145. I mean, dramatic difference, especially if you're here on the the ocean front. But even the ocean front is far away from the ocean. I mean, you have to walk a ways to get over there. They're on a uh, inlet, kind of an inlet. I mean, it, it's it's not right on the water most of them aren't you need a room up high if you're going to get a, any kind of a view so that's what you have pacific surf and of course you have the ocean up here well this gives you an idea of what the town looks like i'm driving um, this is uh, the freeway between seattle and portland oregon and as you can see, Oregon is very much like Washington State, <clears throat> as well as um, British Columbia. Uh, they all have a lot of cedar tea trees, a lot of pine trees, and this is Interstate 5. And uh, as I said in the earlier video, Everywhere from Portland, if you go from Portland all the way to Vancouver, British Columbia, it's almost like you're driving in one large city in a certain sense because the traffic is just basically non-stop. It's almost, it's almost as though you had three cities merging together as one, really. And Portland is three hours from Seattle. And uh, Vancouver, Vancouver is um, about four hours from Seattle. That gives you a little idea of what, uh, what this region looks like coming into Portland. I'm about 28 miles from Portland right now. And uh, Portland is a really beautiful city older city with, with a lot of these beautiful trees around. I like Portland a little better than Seattle. To me it's uh, a little more scenic. Okay, I am coming into uh, toward the Dalles, Oregon. It's a rainy day, northwest rainy day. The whole week has been very rainy. A lot of water. But um, and it, it is uh, fe uh, February after all, you know. But I have never driven this side of the road. Along the Columbia River here, that goes in to Portland. Uh, it comes down through these areas and from the mountains. Columbia River has a lot of rivers feeding into it. Eventually ends up in, in uh, Portland. But uh, that's the Columbia River. So, I've never driven this side of the road before. This is uh, kind of cool. I've, uh, you always, I've always driven the Oregon side. This is Washington State side.
beautiful. Except for all the rain, but still beautiful. All moss there. Lots of moss. This is, uh, these are a lot of pine trees up here. In uh, Washington, up in western Washington, near Seattle and Oak Harbor and those areas, a lot of cedar. But these seem to have a lot of pine. And, um, a little lower, a lower, uh, maybe, well, Oak Harbor, where I'm at right now, that's almost sea level, so I don't know. I don't know why the difference, but not as many uh, cedar trees here. A lot of pine. Looks like there is a dam out here, uh, which I wasn't aware of. River is the exact opposite of this, it seems. I mean, your viewpoint is different. Your viewpoint is mostly the river on the other road. This is called Bridge of the Gods, and I don't know why, and I'm not going to find out why because I don't want to pay a toll. But it is interesting. You can always look it up on YouTube, I suppose, or Wikipedia. I have no idea why they call it Bridge of the Gods. some small town here. Stevenson. Stevenson, Washington. Never been here in my life. Nice little town. Nice little town. Nestled in all these mountains. Seldom get snow down in these areas because you're so close to sea level. It's, it's relatively warm weather in, in the Portland area, Oregon area. And we're just, we're not far at all from Portland. It's 
It's one of my favorite regions in the world is right along here. Out of all the places I've ever been, I just love it. some hot springs up there somewhere. trains just keep popping up on me and I'll tell you there was a lodging place back there roadway I wouldn't be staying there right across from this train track man this is a busy train track exciting. I did not expect that. Look at that large barge over there. It's carrying uh, so, um, what? Sawdust? I think so. Sawdust. I'd love to zoom it, but uh, well, I'm driving. Big ships come through around this one, down this river. Big ship from the ocean come up the river, down the river. It's a very big and deep river, Columbia River. Looks like I am coming into a tunnel. One tunnel for the train and one tunnel for the cars. Looks like I'm coming into a third tunnel. This is why I love traveling so much. Every turn is a new adventure. This is quite cool. Well, I just went through another tunnel, which you didn't see. And now I'm coming to another tunnel. Wow, a lot of tunnels. Trains on the left now, cars on the right. Why 
Oregon is probably one of my favorite states. We're right on the edge of Oregon. There's just so much beauty along the, the water. and the, the coastline is incredible. Beautiful coastline. This is a toll bridge. Yep, Hood River Toll Bridge. Okay. Hood River, Oregon. Now we're on the other side of the bridge. In four and three quarter miles, take exit 69 on the right to US 30. And uh, this is a faster way to go. But it's also a lot of big trucks and winding roads. But that's the road we were on right across the way there. It's almost like a different world over here. But we're on the freeway. The, the bridge cost a dollar, cash only. No signs telling us. So I said, what do you do? Do you ever get people here that that don't have the card, I mean cash, she goes all the time. She was from Britain. And I said, what do you do? She said, we uh, fill out uh, forms and it backs the bridge up for a long time. I said, have they ever thought about putting a bridge, big sign up there, cash only? And she said, I've been telling them that for years. But another train. Well, I've kind of found myself up in the mountains, up in actually up in the wine country where they make a lot of wine. I I was looking for a little bed and breakfast place that I saw on the on the uh, GPS. I found myself up here, wine country, and to get where I want to go, I have to go over dirt roads and mountain tops for 33 minutes. I'm just not in the mood for that today. Not at this time of the day. Nobody's up there and uh, it's getting dark. And I'd rather not have car problems up in the middle of the mountains. I'm in a little town called The Dalles, Oregon. And I've got to say, it's about 10,000 people. I have to say it's one of the nicest little towns I've ever visited. Uh, the people are friendly. It kind of has a rustic feel to it, kind of an outdoor cowboy kind of feel to it. It's a, um, the, uh, the, the terrain is uh, beautiful around. It's in a little valley amid all these hills, wineries around it. Um, and, um, they have uh, the Columbia River next to it and uh, some beautiful old buildings. It's got, uh, in the center of town, it's probably one of the best laid out towns, best designed towns I've ever seen uh, with the new Fred Meyer and Safeway and all these things. Not this part, this is the old part of town. But, uh, boy, it's, it's really nice. That's quiet. Peaceful. I'm impressed. Another dam, and this is called the Dalles Dam. And uh, this is known for eagles. To be eagles hanging around here about January 20th or thereabouts. And we're looking, you know, we're right at the, what, January 27th, 8th today, so. We're bound to see. That's the bridge. That, it's a toll bridge that goes over from Oregon to uh, to Washington State. And that is the highway that I came up on the other side of the Columbia River. This is interesting. I don't know if somebody lives there or what. This is the dam, but if you look over there real closely. I don't know if we can see it. There are eagles perched all along here. I'll just zoom in and hope that we can see some. 
when I go to process this. Eagles in the trees. Here's the eagles on top of those sitting up there. A whole bunch of them are around that corner over there, in that tree. A whole bunch of them. There's a better view of the eagles, maybe. Here we go again at that very interesting. I think this is an Indian fishing site. Uh, they have they have property rights here to fish. I think that's what we have. That's what it is. Pretty cool. Right in that tree over there. Flat of the Eagles. All the Eagles. Here in the Dalles, Oregon, January, eagles come and hunt for their fish along the Columbia River.
the Dalles, Oregon. Nighttime is very nice because all these little lights are on. Street lamps are on. Very nice at nighttime. know the train blocks the ships now. That's just awesome. Unbelievable. And we just went past the little hotel that Elvis stayed in.